Uh, the musical Amen Corner. Amen Corner. We were going to ask the audience to say that every time we said Amen Corner, but it's okay. You're off the hook. Uh, Amen Corner opened at the Nederlander in 1983. The team who had done Curly and Angel, Philip Rose and Peter Udell, did just what they'd done with those shows, and they put new songs into a pre-existing play. It's actually really notable the way that they did this. They literally never musicalized the shows. They just basically took every other scene's dialogue and turned it into a song, which works sometimes. And sometimes not. <laughs> As we may see here, uh, the show is about Margaret, the pastor of a storefront church in Harlem, and her struggles with a rebellious son, a wayward husband who's returned home after 10 years, and a troubled congregation. The performers, including Retta Hughes, Ruth Brown, and Chuck Cooper, were praised, but the show was sad, said to be incredibly talky with music that didn't drive the story and an incredibly dull, cheap looking physical production. Yay. Amen. Are you clapping for a cheap looking physical production? Oh no, that scene. That scene looks interesting. Or Chuck Cooper, I don't know. Yeah, well that's fine. Uh, Amos Corner opened during the 83-84 season, the same as Sunday in the Park with George, Baby, Tap Dance Kid, La Caja Fo, The Rank, so many others, and it was absolutely buried that season and closed after only 28 performances. Ken Mandelbaum once called Amen Corner one of the most forgotten Broadway musicals of the last 25 years. Here to sing a great forgotten tune from Amen Corner sung by the Suns character, Mr. Trip Fountain. Woo! 